guys. Once it's in our hands, I'll decide who gets to run the day-to-day. -day. I give you a district, you get the rackets and everything else. But I'm also counting on you to hold it. Keep that bastard from reclaiming it. One last thing. Y'all know that building that's going up across the lake? Hmm? It's building a casino. Marcano's constructing this so he can go legit. All his money's tied up into that thing, so once he figures out what we're up to, it'll limit his options. More importantly, it's an emotional attachment. Emotions make people irrational, greedy. So that's where we hit him. Right in the goddamn heart. Hey, nice speech. Think they bought it? Don't care. They're all too greedy or pissed off of Marcano to back out now. At least until one of them decides to try the crown on for size. Well, if it comes to that, I'll handle it. The photos were a nice start and all, but I'm gonna need some actionable intel on those lieutenants. A place of business, where I can find them, you name it. The dossiers are nearly complete. I'll be ready to move when you are. <laughs> I was also able to recruit some concerned citizens who are more than happy to share what they know about Sal's coalition of WAP assholes. Information on how to contact them will be included with the other intel. Appreciate it. Sure you don't need a ride? Oh, I do my own driving. Ooh. And the uh, systematic killing of Marcano's capos and lieutenants, that was part of the plan. Well, you're playing fucking patty cake, Christ. Look, you want to bring somebody down, you destroy the foundation they're standing on. It's the same basic op we ran over in Nam. Hey, Lincoln, come pick me up. There's something we need to talk about. This about Marcano? No, it's something else altogether. Just get here. All right, see you soon.
cook. My ma's bucatini recipe. I know, I thought I'd give it a try. She back in Empire Bay? No, she, uh, she passed a while ago. You got any folks back there? Take a look at that paper. Some city councilman's up for re-election. I need a favor. Who is he? You tired of Abu Marcano? This fuck. Him and his pals killed a friend of mine. Look, he'd see me coming from a mile away. Oh, yeah, because I'm so inconspicuous. You know how to get to people. It's taken me 12 years and a lot of money to find this cocksucker. I'd make it worth your while. And I'd consider it a personal favor. I'll think about it. If you're having trouble finding him, look for somebody on the street might be willing to give him up. When you're done, come back here. You got a lot more names need to be X'd out. First motherfucker I want you to hit is Lucky. He gets the name on account of he ain't got none. <laughs> Running out of room to keep all this cash. Come back and I'll have more for you. You're gonna tell me where I can find the councilman. Lucky's supposed to be playing cards here. You run with me now.
win. <clears throat> I know where you are, cocksucker! I will not forget your face, young man! Get your ass out of here! Press passing, brother. And you pass surprise, motherfucker. Oh, surprise, motherfucker. Fire now.
We're good, right? Thanks for taking care of that thing. I might have another job for you later. It took stones to help me get my place back up and running. Thanks. says you can help me keep the cops mellow. That true? Of course it is. I'm just getting a feel for how they do things around this precinct, but I can still make things happen. I'll get to you. What can Better I take off your hand? Bonsoir, Cher.
Ah, you want to buy something? You need to talk to Cassandra. She said you could use some help, assuming you're a manual. Assume at your own risk, Lincoln Clay. So running the weed, y'all got a routine laid out? We take a boat to the bayou, grab the bears, bring them back. Bayou can be a rough territory. Dixie Mafia knows every inch. <laughs> Did those white boys scare you, friend? Did they touch your zozo when you were a child? Cassandra failed to mention your charming personality. <sighs> I highly doubt she forgot. You do this kind of thing back in Haiti? Back in my country, I was a hoogan. A priest. Was a priest know about trafficking weed? I did not run marijuana, Frey. My cargo was refugees, people. I saved their lives, got them away from Duvalier. But you probably don't know much about that. We gonna have a problem, you and me? Cassandra says we are partners, that everything is cool between us. Are we cool? I don't think I call it that. Neither would I. Cassandra might be able to let go of what you did to our people, but I cannot. Maybe you'd be happier back in Haiti. It was not my chance to come here, leave my home. But I'm trying to make the best of it. Aren't we all? There are still Dixie Mafia scattered around the hollow. If you have the time, you should see to them. Convince them to leave. A shipment of weed is being delivered down in the bayou. Get a boat, use it to bring everything back. Word of advice, Frey. There is one thing you should never, ever do if Cass That boat has everything. The other night I heard this man on the radio. I've never heard quite so honest a voice as that. At least not one who stayed among you. God ain't forgetting what those motherfuckers did to this place, Mr. Clay. I won't tease her. Let me know if you need anything else, shall we? Pearlie used to put these under our beds. Thought they'd keep us safe. Fear drives people to seek out all manner of protection. God, the invisibles, the loa. But sometimes, that is not enough. No weapon formed against us shall prosper, right? Not with a 45 in my hand. The white government says we don't have a right to arm ourselves and we can't be trusted. But the folks around here, 
All they looking for is a little peace of mind. There are stashes of guns hidden in this city. I need you to steal them. You sure this is about the hollow? I don't need you starting a revolution, fucking everything up. When you out there running around killing all those crackers, what do you think people will see? I'll tell you what they see. A crazy nigga. A nigga part of a savage hole that needs to be exterminated. Well, I don't give a shit one way or another. They can come after me. And what happens when you're not around and another black man or woman is, huh? We all the same to them. Don't you think the people of this neighborhood, the mechanic, the housewife, have a right to defend themselves? History tells me that giving you more guns might be unhealthy for me. It's not like that. Not anymore. I'll see to it they get in the hands of the right people. I'll see what I can do. And don't worry. I'll make sure you benefit as well. Don't push me, Cassandra. You know, at some point you're gonna have to trust me. Maybe. We ain't there yet. You sure my Connell ain't gonna get bent out of shape about us selling guns in his city? Last time I checked, this land down here Take don't belong to him. It belongs Fuck to us. Fuck shit, right? Need to grab some cover! Can't let him pick us off! Like the good book says... Motherfucker! He can't see you coming. Run that. There you go. Time to take out the trash. Uh, ah! Brought us here, but the devil's here now. You can't hide from me, boy.
Please. We had this kind of money because of all the work you... The holler gets stronger with every gun you bring. Don't doubt that. I recognize the trust you had to have to put the holler in my hands. You won't regret it. How about sending some new wheels to Delray Hollow? Just gonna take a squirt, and I'll get her out of here. One car is promised. That's a big help. Sure, see him. Oh, God damn it. Okay. Get your ass home in one piece, MJ. You all right? Far fucking from it. Sinclair Paris. That mean anything to you? Nothing good. Black folks, anyway. Sheriff Department down there still thinks Jim Crow is the law of the land, so we're building a civil rights case against him. 
Been working with an attorney out of Washington, D.C. Knows people in the FBI. That what that call was about? One of my men, named Ezekiel Dangers, was down there meeting with folks, getting him to agree to testify against the sheriff's department. He was compiling evidence, uh, testimony, getting folks' names. We we're gonna turn it over to that attorney. <sighs> then he ran into a motherfucker named Sheriff Walter Slim Beaumont. I was on the phone with him when it happened. I'm getting ready to leave now. I know. Yeah. Okay. Kinda laid out, ain't it? Are you having car trouble? No, sir. Everything's fine. Mm, mm, mm. Why don't you come on out here and let me get a look at you? What you doing around Sinclair this time of night? Passing through, sir. Passing through. That's nice. It's a beautiful night for passing through, ain't it? Who's that on the phone? My mama. Your mama? She worries. Just letting her know when to expect me. That's mighty nice. I bet she appreciates that. Yes, sir. It is a beautiful night. <laughs> Don't let me keep it. Especially what with your mama waiting and all. Jesus. And another brother falls. Lincoln, this is my daughter Roxy. She grew up in Atlanta with her mother. Pleasure to meet you. I'm Lincoln. Lincoln Clay, I know. Daddy, I already told you I can handle this on my own. There's too much at stake. The case, people's lives. Can't take any chances. Heard you ripped Dixie Mafia a new asshole. <laughs> Left one of them hanging from a Ferris wheel. He killed someone close to me. Seemed like a good way to pay him back. Slim and them motherfuckers who work for him. Dixie Mafia ain't nothing compared to them. We do this, you do what I say. When I say it. Yes, ma'am. Uh, the two of you need to get on down to Sinclair Parish and get that folder. When you got it, bring it here. <clears throat> Meet me outside when you're ready to go. Your ass is driving. She was supposed to be with Ezekiel. Blames herself for what happened. Blame's an easy thing to put on. Hell of a lot harder to take off. We'll get this done. Of that, I have no doubt. Sinclair Parish? <laughs> yeah, I... I remember Sinclair Parish. <laughs> you, you need to understand that back then, uh, local police, sheriff departments, they operated with absolute impunity. And no one operated with more impunity than Sheriff Walter Beaumont. Beaumont used his power to keep Sinclair Parish white. Places like that were called sundown counties. If you were black and caught around there after dark, well, that would be the last time anyone ever saw you. Well, let's go.
My pops gave me the rundown on how you two fucked up those dicky assholes. What you did to do that, that was stone cold. Did what had to be done. Yeah, I'm sure you did. But listen, if one of these Sinclair deputies ever tries to pull you over, don't stop. They'll kill you and me without a thought. New Bordeaux police don't exactly walk around giving black folks hugs. Now, nah, ain't no disrespect, my brother. But take out Slim like you did Richie Doucette, and in they minds, that's just gonna justify everything they be doing. That's gonna make shit even worse. But you, you ready to just go out and kill them all, huh? No, just the ones that matter. Asshole cops before, but god damn. They'd rather ice your black ass as soon as look at you. Now I get what you've been saying. Those motherfuckers are a whole new brand of intense. And keep your eyes open for more pigs as we head through town. MJ like. Being clear, born and raised. He a white boy looking to make a difference. You trust him? Of course I trust him. Although I think he got more balls than sense. Sounds like my kind of people. They sit up here? Yeah. seen you in a good minute, girl. MJ's waiting for y'all in the greenhouse. Now you say hey to Lula and them babies for me. Mm -hmm. 